Hi, my name is Diana Six, and I'm a forest entomologist and evolutionary ecologist. And I work on bark beetles, including the infamous mountain pine beetle. Um, this is an insect that's killed something like 70 million acres of trees over just a, like 20 years. And um, this is something that didn't escape the notice of artist Suze Wolf. She's very much into the outdoors and like many people saw the high levels of mortality due to this insect and also notice these really amazing little tunnels and galleries that the beetles make under the bark. And so she'd begun to make books out of these trees and contacted me. And we talked about kind of the life histories of the beetles, what they do. And she began to, she began to take data and some of the research that I was doing and use those as ideas to produce these books. And it was pretty remarkable to see her transform some pretty complicated science into these unique, incredible books that just can't help but draw you in. Um, it's been really quite interesting to work with Suze. I mean, scientists and artists both have a creative bent. They're inherently creative disciplines. Uh, the thing is that typically artists and scientists don't speak the same language, and so it's sometimes a little hard to connect, but we never had that problem. Suze is amazingly science savvy, and so it was really easy to give her some incredibly complex things, and lo and behold, in a month or so, she'd come back and go, look what I've got, <laughs> and it would be another amazing book. Um, she even uh, took DNA sequence data that encoded for the defenses of trees against bark beetles and made a book from that. Um, so it's been pretty amazing journey to go through some of this with Suze. And uh, I don't see that journey or that path that we've been taking together uh, ending anytime soon. Uh, she, the only thing that really I think freaks me out a little bit about working with Suze is just how incredibly productive she is. Um, I can't keep up. I don't. I, I need to constantly feed her new ideas and research. And uh, it, it's been a little challenging that way, but uh, it's been a remarkable partnership.